well, I've been waiting my whole life to tell stories like this. I, I, you know, I've been acting in other people's things, and you know, I, I've always wished that it could be more subtle and nuanced. You know, um, I, you know, I, I live my life in a reflective way, and I, um, I observe and I and I take things in, and um, that's the way. Um, I made my show. I wanted my show to be the way I see my life. Is it easy <clears throat> is it easy for you to sort of hold on to that aesthetic because we're inundated with the sort of the way that Hollywood tells our stories all the time and what a TV show needs to do, what a movie needs to do. Do you find yourself in the writers room sometimes having to be like, "No, this doesn't need to go to this place. It could just rest here." That's why I don't have a writer's room. <laughs> there you go. Yes. <laughs> that's why it's just... Um, There's no one telling you, like, no, 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 that's not what a story does on TV. Like, yeah. That's right. Um, you know, I mean, and I work, you know, my show's on FX, and so FX is so completely hands-off. Um, <clears throat> they just let people, you know, everybody's using this word auteur now. It's auteur television. People who are handcrafting and making their own things. They are cultivating artists and they're letting us tell our stories without uh, demanding anything. So at the end of the day, I show them my scripts. Um, maybe they'll give me a note here or there. They never demand. Um, action or something taken out or, or, or put in. And then when I deliver my cuts, when I'm editing it, they'll make a couple of suggestions and they never demand it. So at the end, it's, it's what I want and it's, it's how I want to feel. It gives me all the feelings. I cry in the editing room. I just, it's like, it's kind of the most intimate, private, personal space being in there because you just get through all these layers and you get all these feelings and it's an amazing experience.